Joining me now is Executive Director of Soul Strategies, Z Cohen Sanchez. Z, thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Of course, we have a lot to discuss. A new Wall Street Journal poll is out and the news doesn't look so good for President Joe Biden. In a hypothetical 2020 yeah. rematch, Trump is beating President Biden 47% to 43%. So when you hear that, what do you think? I think we have a lot of work to do in the next year. And I, to be honest, as a political operative in this space, and I've been doing this for over 10 years, I think, you know, there, there's a lot of things that could happen between now and then to slim that path even further. Um, things like a third party jumping in, which we could see by the Wall Street Journal poll, but also other polls that that's going to severely affect uh, President Biden, not so much Trump, um, particularly Kennedy, if he's able to get on the ballot, but others as well. And so um, I think that, you know, right now with that four point gap, I think that that could be the best it gets for us. Um, so I do think that we we have a lot of work to do in the next year. What does that work look like? Because if you're saying this is the best it gets for us, the Wall Street Journal poll also found his approval rating is low. We'll discuss that in a bit. But what is the pathway to victory look like between now and Election Day 2024? Yeah, I think so. A couple of things. I think one is that at President Biden, we have to stop throwing facts out at people because the reality is, is that the working class, whether it's true or not, and we understand that the stats are actually really, truly in Biden's favor right now. Biden has done much better on the economy than Trump did. He's passed far more legislation than Trump has. Um, he's done all of those things, but that does not mean that the working class doesn't feel this pain and this struggle. And so instead of spitting out facts to people, we really need to start to focus on the things that matter and acknowledging that hurt, but then also making sure that people understand the dangers of Trump. Um, and it can't just be, I'm not Trump, right? That's not, I mean, we did that in 2020. It didn't work. Um, well, it worked, but by a very slim margin. Um, Hillary tried that. It tr truly did not work. Um, and so we need to we need to really start talking about what those dangers actually look like. It can't just be that you know, we can't just use these these terms and use them so loosely. We have to start talking about what that's actually going to mean for the working class. Let's talk about that because the economy continues to be the top issue for voters. President Biden actually attached his name to the economy, Bidenomics, and this Wall Street Journal poll, or poll found that less than 30 percent of voters view the economy as favorable. So your inflation is down, GDP is up, unemployment is low, wages are growing faster than inflation. But that's not what people are feeling. People are feeling, hey, my bank account is like shrinking, my wallet hurts. So A, why the disconnect? And B, how do you change the messaging around the economy? Yeah, well, I think the disconnect, a big part of that is COVID. I think that COVID really took took us through a loop. And I think that, you know, even though all these numbers are up, it's still not where we should be, right? And so even though we have this um, the number is getting better. We're not talking about the fact that Biden just came out of a Trump election, right? Or Trump presidency. And so, um, and nobody talked about the fact that, you know, before that, you know, it was Obama. And un unfortunately, Trump got to ride the positive wave of Obama for the first two years. And so we always have this cycle happen where the last two years of the presidency, right, is is the wave that they ride. And so Trump got the favorability of getting to have, you know, all the glory because the economy was very good when he came to office, um, but he left in complete disarray. And so Biden had to clean things up. And he, I don't think that he's been able to do as much as he's wanted to do because we were in such a terrible state coming out of COVID um, that I think he didn't get the recognition, right? Uh, that's not to say that I think that Biden is the best choice for the Democratic Party. That's not to say that we couldn't have somebody have done better. It's just to say that I think he, he did sort of unfortunately have to ride um, off of Trump that had destroyed the economy, which is also something that he does not talk about um, frequently enough in his messaging.